Let's create some fun line patterns that we can use for adding to background papers and tweak them for really customized effect. The script in question is called line patterns. Before you run the script and create your seamless patterns, you will need to open it in Notepad and edit it. Very close to the top, there's going to be this section, User Edit, where you have a path. This is just a default path, and it might or might not correspond to where the patterns are saved on your Paint Shop installation. So you need to edit this part to make sure it will point to the area where your Paint Shop will retrieve the patterns. In my case, I have a custom patterns folder and I simply have to access it and on top here I once I click I can just copy this part back to the notepad and replace this with my actual path. You make sure that you keep the apostrophes at the beginning and the end and then you save it again. You might want to save it with a name that indicates that you edited it or that you edited the file based on your paint shop version. Whichever way you go, you might want to just keep the original intact and change that. I'm not going to save it here because I already did and I called it with hyphen mine. So now I will go in my drop down list and find line patterns mine which is the version I edited and saved. Now I'll just have to run it. I can generate between 5 and 20 tiles at one time. So let's just start with 5. And now I'm done. I have all those five patterns now, and they are all seamless. I can now open a blank image. Let's do 2000 by 2000. You can just use a full size 3600 by 3600 if you're doing scrapbooking or any size you want. Now you just have to go into your materials palette and under the t pattern tab, you can go on the top and usually you will see all the tiles that were created and are still open on your workspace. So if I want to choose this one, I can keep the scale at 100 or I can change it, that's really okay. I can flood fill with it and I have a nice pattern. If I want to have a background color, I can add a new layer, flood fill with a solid color, and I have something interesting. If I want to colorize these lines to something else, I can lock the transparency, select all with control A, and then choose a different color. I'll choose red and you click and you have a new look. Now you can also tweak your tile differently. Notice that you do have two layers. So you might want to take one of the two layers and rotate it. So you can go to image, free rotate, rotate 90 degrees, rotate single layer and not all layers, and you have a different look. Let's try it. Let's hide this one. Let's unlock. We hide this one. We'll add a new raster layer. We can deselect for now. And I'll still look for image 57. Now image 57 and not the current pattern. And I have, again, a different look. We can do even more. Since we do have 
two different layers, we can colorize the lines separately. Again, we'll log the transparency, select all, click, and I get some red lines. I will unlock and I'll do the same thing for the other one. Let's lock and maybe this time I'll take something blue. I click, I unlock. Now let's go on our page. We'll hide this one, add a new raster layer. Let's find our image 57 again. And again, I have a different pattern. And also I can change the background. But that's not even all. So let's undo this so we can go back to the black lines. We can add a new raster layer on top. Using our selection tool, choose the magic wand. You can match the opacity or RGB, I'll choose the opacity, and you can use here all layers, contiguous, checked, and you can select some areas. Remember that these patterns are seamless, so if you choose one area that touches the edge, you have to select the next one that is matching on the other side. So I'm holding the shift key to make sure I select both areas. And I will go to Selections, Modify, Expand. I'll expand by just 5 pixels. That will make sure that the edges will not have any leftover white pixels. And now since I'm on that new layer, I can choose a solid color using my Flood Fill tool. I will Flood Fill this area. I'll deselect. Let's select another set of sections. So I'm going to choose those two holding my shift key. And I'm going to use also my magic wand to select the matching areas with my flood fill. Let's make those pink and selections. Modify expand again, five pixels. And with pink, I'll flood fill, deselect, and now I have only those leftover areas here, the two, selection, modify, expand, and let's flood fill these with white, or, yeah, deselect. Now I want to put that below my lines. So my lines are now really nicely defined. And I'll use again image 57 on a new layer. Let's go with image 57. And I have a different pattern again. And now you have it. You can create your own patterns using this script and customize it to your liking. Have fun!